this to happen. They are holding the wargs, pinging it down as well. Getting ready, he gets an Atabe. That's gonna be a very low HP Atabe and a dead one at that. And they walk around the cupcake to get out. Fnatic once again. Because again, he's falling behind. Look oh. at this though, bottom lane. He's gonna get that flame spitter going. Tower hit landed on white. Yep. That's gonna cause him problems. Cyanide gets the kill. Another one on the yellow star. Uzi going down in mid. He gets out. The Ignite is down. Oh, it follows him all the way home. Lucky's in the middle, trying to get to it's yellow star. But he's dancing in between the minions. Royal dances it better. And Puzu's looking for the last piercing arrow. Can he get that snipe? He's got to back away. Oh, no. Tommy's back already. Oh, the cocoon lands from long range. Fantastic oh, stuff. Incoming around the side, though. Cyanide's closing on towards Lucky. Should be able to get the lock up. There he is. Stands oh. on the trap. I don't believe. Is he going to get the dragon strike off? And look, he lives. <laughs> Close piercing arrow to come through. A very nice equalizer. Oh, he lays down the red carpet for Xpeke to enter. He does come in from the side. Whites is going very low, but he gets assistance from his buddy Lucky. Coming but in very hard here. Pushu getting hit up, but he's put himself in the fire. He does get the kill, but more importantly, so many members of Fnatic hadn't hit level six yet. Whereas Royal. Once again, both of the top laners that we have just going back. Uh oh, can see. Ooh, onto Uzi. They're going to throw down that chum the waters. Here's Peke. He's going to get locked back up. There, ace in the hole. Straight on Peke, and that is a bust of Pushu. So as lingering around, they might Ooh. try and set a trap for Godlike. Little fog of war trick coming in here. Godlike with a taunt over the wall, but he's gonna do it right on the equalizer. Whoa. They eat it back in. Peke makes the wall, and he also makes a clean kill on a Godlike. Beautiful shot there by Soaz using his vector. He's pretty much maxing anybody out on the board by 800 gold, so a focus. Having that Caitlyn there. Ooh. Get into lanes and push. Peke again gets caught in a counterjack B1 Bam. situation. Cyanide to enter the fight. Well, Cyanide may well get the kill on Uzi. That's the AD carry going down. And now he's onto a support, but that's a support with flames and a big teddy bear. Ew. And he will get the kill. Down Meanwhile, the in the bottom, bottom this game is just absolutely crazy. The support's when he's not near white. Oh, Lucky getting caught up in the top lane. The Cataclysm goes down the repel. Should leave him in range for some Ooh. good damage. He ignites there with the equalizer. It's going to continue, but a new challenger arrives as Soaz makes his way out of the bush. He's going to have the flag and drag. He goes in on towards Tabe. Here comes Yellowstar, piercing out from Pushu from long range. Now they're going towards Godlike. He's in all sorts of trouble. Uzi's just off of the side. Chain of Corruption lands perfectly for Pushu. Gets himself the double kill. That's the Fnatic special right there. They pick up more kills in a roaming situation, whereas Peke has to oh, run man. away from White. He has used the flash. Is the heal there for Whites to get the speed up? It is now he flashes in range, but he does not get it. Close, close stuff. Fnatic gonna keep all the pressure on this top lane turret. This will be Fnatic's first turret of the game, and Uzi just getting a little close, trying to avoid those harpoons. They're gonna let the minions take down the turret. They he won't be able to stop that one. They may try and rotate around on it, but let's check this fight out. Yeah, this was a lockdown onto Lucky, and they saw the Shen shield coming up, but they knew they blew through it. So Soaz put down the Equalizer, the only place Lucky could have landed. At this point, it's just Fnatic getting to the point faster than Royal. Even though Godlike flashed in, it was Yellow Star and Pushu who then came in to finish it up. And it was very timely skill shots as well. Pushu landed that Chain of Corrosion right as Godlike was taunting to guarantee that lockdown, and it meant Uzi even with all his farm, could never get involved in the fight. And look at the difference. Once again, Pushu falls way behind in farm, but gets the kills. 4-2-2. Varus, we said it in the last match, seems to be the champion of choice. So he seems to have found that works against Uzi. Oh, Yellow Star in trouble. That's going to be a slow. The Oracle won't go down, but Yellow Star will. They actually use quite a bit for that. <laughs> they did use quite a bit, but that means the time that Yellow Star's Oracles is ticking is greatly diminished, Ooh. and it also means Royal gets to try and dive. So as just about sidestep and Equalizer going down, they want to fight this one. Intervention used on Godlike already. That's going to be the Equalizer doing a lot of damage just over the side. Godlike goes down, Pushu comes back in. Hits Sinai that picks up the kill. So as does go down. It's still a two for one trade to Royal. Yeah, but Peke was nowhere near considering the numbers advantage that Royal had. They really did not get that much out of this one. The question is, will they continue to dive? Because Fnatic is dangerously defending, even re-engaging with two people. Sinai trying to hold him there. Peke's just on the outside wing. There's a chain of corruption. Leading into Chum the Waters. Can Peke make it in time? They get the first kill even without him, but it looks like they will be able to secure Lucky. Tabe going down. Lucky now in source of trouble. They're going to slide in. That's the urchin strike. Playful Tricks is going to be available. Sinai's going to have the flag and drag. Will they use it? Peke takes it with the ignite.
and the turret didn't even go down it as Royal is going to try and push mid. A lot of pings coming down from Royal here. There is the taunt going in with the flash as well. Cyanide gets hit up quite well, and the Tibbers is there. Fnatic has seen the strength right now of Royal, and they may re-engage. Piercing arrow, John the water sliding through. Intervention's going to be enough to save him, and Peke gets dropped straight away. Jenna Corruption's going to hit everyone, though. He crashes up. Cyanide sliding in. They're going to catch on towards Uzi. There's going to be Equalizer on towards White. White is backing away from this one, but the flames from it from Soaz is going to continue chasing Harpoons. White's desperately turned this one back around and everybody's backed off still just a one for one these team fights are so crazy Fnatic is arguably the best team fighting team in Europe and Royals the best team fighting team in China they know when and how to disengage even though so as his equalizer came up right at the end of that fight he could not land a good one I thought it was gonna swing the fight but it turns out Royal gets away with one still keeps the gold close within 2000 or 20 minutes in so many things have happened at this mark in the game. Barons were taken in game one. Barons were taken five minutes later in game two. Right now, these teams can't really figure out how to get past each other's defenses. 14 to 10, like I said, that 2,000 gold lead, and only the turrets right now stand in favor of Royal. One thing I want to just manage to use that Playful could be the to fight. back out. They're going to go in towards this blue. He wants to get on towards it. Intervention's already been used. This throw down the chum. The waters, it was not hitting anyone. Big damage coming out of the white, and they take him down. Cyanide locks up two. Godlike tries to stay in, and they're looking for Uzi. The cleanse goes out, and he's able to turn the fight around. But will they be able to follow Cyanide? Gets on Uzi, gets the hit, gets the Whoa. wrap up. But Uzi oh, life steals. He life steals it back and finally goes down. Finally gets locked in. Tabe's going to be next. He hasn't got a stun available. He's going to get picked off as well. It's going to be finally Peck that gets the kill. What a fight. Despite the incredible kiting of Uzi, he still goes down as a three for one fight for Fnatic and Fnatic catches another fight in their favor. Uzi actually walked into a churn the waters near the end of that. Fnatic's trying to take some turrets back for themselves. <laughs> and they do get it. A little game of cat and mouse there. It seems like Godlike knew the time he had. And let's just watch this engage. Yeah, so White's intervention was burned once, and then despite the shields, Fnatic really wanted him down. And now that it was mainly just Uzi as a second damage threat, everyone on Fnatic was running him down because the damage threat from the rest of Royal, who's off on the bottom left, was non-existent. And then these plays right there, getting the headshot lifesteal, getting the hit after hit, and then so as through the wall with the Electro Harpoon is the only thing that finished him off. Otherwise, Uzi would have lived maybe another day. The rest of Fnatic was <laughs> I think he may have taken Cyanide down as well, and I might yep. he looked like he was... Timbers, but is it going to be enough damage? The health bars of Royal are just dropping. Uzi getting focused on around the side this time. You're going to see he's going to get claps on, but Royal Gaming coming out on top here. That's a good equalizer. They finally lock him down. Peke running for his life in the background. Pushu does pick up the double kill. It's a three for one so far. And Fnatic with the Dragon to continue it. They keep going for Whites. Will they be able to catch him down here, though? Level 10, yeah, level 14 versus a 15 Whoa. and a 14. Beautiful dodge on Zenith Blade. Whites has the health speed up. Who's he going to give it to? They turn oh. around to fight. They're able to take down Whites. Godlike is there, and he is not just that. He is dead. Fnatic with their mobility. Chases down the total ace for that one. 22 kills to 12 right here. But the craziest thing about that entire fight, Riv, Tabe got the dragon with his Tibbers. It means the goal lead is still not in Fnatic's favor, and they have to win so many more fights to win this game. That will be the turret. That's going to be 3-3. That's the first inner turret of the game picked up for Fnatic. Let's check out this crazy match. Yeah, Tabe initiated this fight beautifully. Yellow Star actually was trying to lock Tabe down pre-flash, and that's why it ended up whiffing. But then Peke, perfect play on Uzi, taking him out of the fight. You can see all of Fnatic's main ultimates are focused on Uzi. The Equalizer, the Churn the Waters, and the Cataclysm, all for that. Then Peke doing his best Houdini act to get out of that one alive, and Fnatic ended up getting a five for one. That was really this means Fnatic should be looking for a fight. They do not want to let godlike split push get going, and Fnatic has won many fights in a row. So if they catch one, it could be huge. Chum the water's out, but he gets repelled out, as well as the equalizer. Fnatic missing turn two around. ultimates. They're going to have the turnaround. Tibbers goes down. It's a good solar flare. They're going to lock into a tummy. Yellow Star trying to get out of the fight. Whites is in the middle, too, and the Cataclysm goes down again on two people. Oh. Whites' his intervention kind of just sat there, and he goes down after. Double kill coming in for Peke as he also falls during the fight, and that's a shutdown for Whites. It goes to show how much initiation Fnatic has because they missed their first round, but they hit their second. Uzi's still alive. He's the only man keeping this tower alive. Fnatic desperately won it. They managed to catch the slow on him. They don't get that. 
Okay, the harpoon coming out from Soez, not quite finding his target, but Fnatic, they're gonna get an objective off that fight. They're gonna get the middle turret. Another fight, another objective there for Fnatic. They are winning one after the other, even though that one didn't seem the most clean. They're gonna keep pushing here. It's really on Uzi to try and carry this one because he is getting focused so hard. Uzi coming back around the side. They're trying to just get a quick pick onto Puju there. Always trying to, because there are so many rounds of initiation by Fnatic. Just the one is not enough. So as is very Here's low, if they choose to fight this, Yellow Star deep into the fight. Godlike goes in as well, gets the taunt onto Yellow Star only. They do come up with the one kill they need, but very low. Godlike Whoa. trying to get out. Whites goes down as well. Fnatic's gonna continue. Sonya's hourglass was used and burnt, and well, Royal gonna turn this one around. So as is gonna get the target. Uzi is what? not getting focused, but there he is. Push who gets on towards it. Tabe gonna be next. The ace will come out and the quadra kill for Pushu. 13 and 2 on Ferris right now. It came down to a duel between him and Uzi. Who is going to win? It's the Ferris right now. And Fnatic, that's got to be the fifth or sixth fight in a row they have won. Another turret. The man down almost 100 CS continues to be one of the positions so yeah. far. We'll see how far he can go with it. Absolutely. The static shift just been completed. Meanwhile, obviously, Phantom Dancer was picked up by Uzi a long time ago. Big, big damage going to be coming out from Navaras in the next fight. And the biggest item completion that just happened is Peke finished Rabadon's death cap. He's already almost one-shotting people. This makes the mini game between White uh -oh. and Peke even larger. But they've managed to lock up. That's going to be the Solar Flare, though. Turning it around. Tabby does get the kill on Cyanide. Soas is getting locked up and it's going to go down. Fnatic have to back out of this fight. Yellow Star's taking that damage. Ace and holding so much. Peke comes in, gets on towards Whoa! White. Peke goes down in a second. You see White on the board twice there. A kill and a death. Uzi comes up big. They shut him down. Yellow Star is out of this one. Four for three right there, but Uzi is alive. His farm, his 313. They don't get picked off. And Pushu has one slot here for his defensive item. He's decided on a Spectre's Cow, even though he's dueling Uzi very frequently, which means Fnatic needs to keep Uzi away from Pushu if Pushu wants to avoid being shot incredibly quickly. The same thing actually has to happen for Royal. Both those 80 carries will blow each other up because they're itemizing magic resistance. And as we see that, the Merc Tread's coming out onto Pushu. It's been chosen for the Quicksilver Sash on Uzi's side there. We'll see how this affects the next fight as they prep. And yep. that split push has a monster wave. If Fnatic doesn't go in soon, they would lose close to inhibitor turrets. Peke has shown, which means Royal is in a great situation right now. Peke is unsure what to do. He realized they were going to lose that inner turret, but they couldn't give up the Baron, which is potentially going to be what Royal started off. They could turn it into a 5v1. We're going to see Godlike. He's going to keep pushing. The minions alone could maybe take down the inhibitor turret right now. Fnatic is in a terrible situation. They either have to go straight for Baron or go back and hope they can hold off a Baron 4v5. This is all about Royal trying to get in the heads of Fnatic right now. Can they stop them from backing? Are they going to cause Fnatic to walk this one out? They will be losing an inhibitor turret if they can't get back. Peke is too far away here, but it looks like they stop it at half. He's dancing back and forth right now. You cannot have happy feet in a situation like this. Fnatic needs to somehow hold this off 45. They get the timbers out. Maybe Soaz could stop the Shen from coming in. The top turret has already gone down. We see there's going to be the cat. The side of Black and so White. White's have to use the intervention. And it's on you. I see so going down into one side. There's the intervention coming out. But the damage coming out from Pushu. Pushu with the ace in the hole. Goes down. Uzi banks straight on top of him. Meanwhile, this is all happening. Godlike will get taken down by Peke. But is it the too late still for going down. They are going to try to keep going. Lucky has the damage, but they are also very damaged themselves. If a re-entry comes in from Cyanide, it could be a fight. But Uzi, full health now, onto Soaz. Whoa. Soaz down to 10% HP, gets the Peacemaker, but it just misses the edge. It will be now an uncontested Baron, a very dead Cyanide. Cyanide. No, he makes it, but it is going to be the Baron taking down Lucky, and the Baron going to Uzi and Royal. Absolutely insane sequence of events there. Peck out of the Season 3 World Championships. Will Royal manage to get through to that finals? SK Telecom will be watching this with great eyes, making sure that this fight, if it happens, could be a big one. Tabe waiting to get that flash. Tibbers in the solar flag comes out. There's going to be the equalizer. They're sitting right behind the cupcakes. That cannot Whoa. engage behind that. Taken out. Yellow Star goes too deep. They can't follow outside the base. 
Royal looks to take down the inhibitor. The Fnatic members stand in their way, but is it enough? The cleanse coming out perfectly from Uzi. Kept that chunk of waters away from him. And Fnatic using all those ultimates and simply whiffing the lot of them. Instead of waiting for Royal to go, Fnatic went themselves. And Royal, for once, plays defensive before they go. And they get two inhibitors out of that clean push. Big, big advantage now for Royal Gaming. That Baron buff, it's still got 80 seconds on it. And they're waiting to try and dive. The agenda of things to do is heavily stacking against Fnatic right now. They got to multitask their way out of this one. Cyanide engages. The locket goes down. Expeke sits in this. They get to reset the fight. Reassemble. Will they be able to go in? Peke almost gets dropped, but he throws down Zonias. Will he be able to hit White with a Q when he comes up? No, it's the ton onto Peke. They continue on. Uzi they take down. down Uzi. Now White's maybe more. That's the carries both down. Look, he's gonna get focused on Godlike, can't take the damage out here. But while this is happening, there's super minions on the Nexus turrets. Fnatic have to get back and defend, they're pinging it. They, they realize they're in trouble, they may lose the Nexus turrets despite the fight. They do hold off them, and I think they have the time, unless Pushu... Making a good case for the damage, the Equalizer goes down. They're locking on towards Uzi, have they got enough? He's cleansed off one, cleansed off two, and still he's alive and doing all the damage he can in the world. Peke with the Zonis, Guardian Angel's gonna get popped, but again, Uzi is free farming right now, locking up the entire team. That's a double kill for Uzi. Royal is gonna be walking their way into the base on this one. They have inhibitors in their eyes, they're gonna have Nexus turrets in Ooh. their eyes. Boom! Headshot goes down, push you taken out. That will be Royal Club, surely in the driving seat. They're coming around, the inhibitors are gonna go down. This will be surely 3-1 for Royal. The Nexus turrets will be going down. Cyanide and so as to do what they can in the last ditch effort. They fly onto Whites, they take down Whites. If they can get Uzi, they may get the damage out, but the DPS is still there, D-Man. They're moving on to the Nexus. That was the big if and they could not do it. Uzi is alive. Uzi is doing damage. It's Royal Club going through to the grand final against SK Telecom T1.